Ora Mensa Thompson, ya wa ye kwa nchwe fwa penye da asepa ano, ede e ye nkrata biya ba, na we kuchire nsem, ede gu nkrata ane su bisa ni hose su. Ede ebe inti ena, ene ya omai gana, edru sampenpenswe, yebe shese, eh, saan yeme bisei, ebe koso, ewo omai nu emu. Nanke hube nya se, eh, samre nka saan yeme anu, ebe timi echem. Nenye, eh, seye sizi obi adie, seye kwa kofu obi edie, nini na anache se free honmo, ama omanfo anso, eh, mwe timi ato womo. Na ye kwa zoom, na ye ni Ora Mensa Thompson, ya wano, eh, ye executive director, Edima Asepa, akwa kudi enkomo, edi afane nse mwa, wekuchire egu enkrata esui. Na Ora Mensa Thompson, mache, eba kasi ebo original eso. Yo, vini ya ba meje mwusu. Yo, ano pe ya unu ukrata wa chure ting ting ting. Na nini na ano asembisa nini na efase ye di eson e tu dede yo eso. Ye di eson e tu e ye enyeme biya ya na e kutia e amamre ni amani ya ya na ye nyan nomo ni ye busu ya fwa ye gan traditional council for e yo. E bra wa pra pra kwe mu ama homo wo afa sheno aba obibe bi sa se edie nti e na enei oru athomsen wo kutire sa nsem ya wo bisa wo hu ensem a ede fa eye ban on noise making ni hu yo mini aba me da se die di ka ma me en issue a very strong disclaimer ye nka se o mama mbre no mama ne no enya de pa enya sa ne pa che ni e pa che nyina ne se and Kamino, a year the capital of Ghana. Ghana, you know, you crew punk a year the capital. Now, say, we did to himself obey the capital of a nation. It comes with some sacrifices and some cost because that means what you have to sell obey your whole war, Timon Four, one now with three different custom backgrounds or with three different religious backgrounds near the Adina. Why do you have to move on better than some people? When you get to move on, a bad thing is you would still enforce your customary laws with some rigidity. Ah, you wouldn't want to make any form of compromise. And the and now and rather, as Adia is here, you see, Abeka Church of Pentecost, now the tax force. On, on the ban of on, on noise making, estomé Church of Pentecost Hall, and a sorry hall koye basa basa chile iwe chile na basa basa ye ikusi wa sorry demo. Clearly, that kind of encounter no alone defeats the ban on noise making, because se we say mobi e ni de de mobi e moche ne na se in enforcing sa ban no. Who mumbe create a more chaotic situation than Nipana? We see we boom rational. Then clearly we have a problem. Yeah, to some you know. Ghana, yes, yes, is a tourism hub. In Kamen, we soon a lot of a tourism destination because Ghana is an international airport. We have a lot of tourists coming here. You bet me a shame from the Dubai example, Abba. Because what called Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, a typical. Islamic uh, state, but because of um, um, some more um, um, tourism, a uh, tomb now a uh, year the leading cascade for the economy now for you, almost me, Jaho, and Kofor now on Obi or Babia, no Sedi Pano, so you're Muslim or you're Muslim or you're uh, Muslim, and I say, or you're Christian, and I say, any religious tribe of the Bano, Nepano fell at home with them. They've relaxed a number of their laws and took it to buy a bontin swat. Even though Islamic laws, no, Islamic laws, or bar ancient trousers, and I say intimidation, they can and now about ten. But could Dubai you see tourists freely wearing these hot pants and what have you, walking about free? And, and, and it, it is not to say so, or to those customs naturally, but if relax the enforcement of those customs to a certain degree and limited to the people are the traditional people are who want to be part of the enforcement of these. But it is who could Dubai. Even though you see these tourists wearing hot pants there, the real indigenous of all the Emiratis, no? you, don't, you don't see them dressed like that. Mm. They still stick to their customs, they still dress in the hijab, they still uh, obey their customs and traditions. 
So what you are saying. So the point we are making is, they said, um, in, 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 in trying to preserve our customer traditions, in, in this 21st century, where in a cosmopolitan area like Greater Accra, I think, or we believe, say, some, some compromise and, and some flexibility in the enforcement of some of these uh, uh, customs and traditions is needed. And yes, sir, we may end up eroding a lot of the gains we've, we've made in, in terms of hospitality, in terms of tourism, and in terms of even our image as a country. That's what I say. So that is the point and the argument that we are making. So maybe we need to start having the conversation. Say, if indeed we, we still want to maintain the, the capital of Ghana and Greater Accra, they are then there must be some sacrifices uh, that the, the, the Ghana Traditional Council will be willing to make. And that sacrifice is not to say they should throw their customs and traditions away, but they should relax on the, enforce, on the strict enforcement and the rigidity in the enforcement of some of these customary laws. Yo, Aura Thompson, Odo, who has shared a buy and Nancy, and Pabuamu, and I said traditional council, no, and Pabuamu, a dear Ben, I feel said, and Ka, yet it's a son. I think that in many ways, also a bind through the Ministry of Chieftaincy, Art and Culture, and in the Ministry of Tourism, and in the many ways, or many traditional council to be shared. They must have a very strong conversation that must begin some form of reformation in the enforcement of some of these bands. Because these bands are one already, they are, they are, they are violation of, of, the, of the fundamental right of people, including right to assembly, right to worship, you know, and what have you. And these rights are fundamental. They are, they are, they are entrenched in the constitution. It's, the, it's just the same way as customary laws also find their place in the constitution. But the point is that if at a certain period you are going to take away people's fundamental rights to lawful assembly from them, then there must be some flexibility in doing some of these things in a cosmopolitan area like Greater Accra. And, and, and that's where the emphasis is. And yes, uh, because if uh, I say, I'm a Marinum, yeah. But in a large capital like Accra, with the all manner of people living here, not just Ghanaians, but all manner of expatriates living here, uh, there should be some form of flexibility in the enforcement of these customs. So that conversation must begin to happen at the intergovernmental level between, between the government of Ghana and the traditional council so that they can reach an agreement so that these perennial, you know, uh, attacks that we see during this period and, and what have you, we, we don't see them again because we, we are tired of every day, oh, the, the tax force have gone here, they've gone to take people's machines, they've gone here, they've stormed one church or the other, they've gone to a beer bar, they've closed their shops down. I, I mean, I think these things to a large extent uh, affect, you know, uh, you know, they take something away from our, from, from our economy, from Yo. the image of the country. So Yo. we need to find a way around some of these things. Yo, yeah, that's it. So any time, I would say, I would say, Ora Mensa Thompson, a year quantry for penny, I would die as a pa, I know. Nanny, you know, I said, Oh, she did yo, ya, a year gun traditional council, no, a bra, a war, a year in crime, and some no, in one, no, chimu, say, Enka, a mre, a cone, a name, and a beer bar, and winter, I was a buy any penny for any one more tenancy, sing, cunya, a pair, a moa, a bit me, a boa, and I said, the full bit me, see, and a moa, and conco, funny, maybe say, and